The main reason to discourage feeding cats people food is that there are a number of foods that are toxic for them. While it is tasty and harmless to humans, a simple nibble could be life-threatening for your cat. But here is a list of human food that is safe for your feline. Apart from this, canned tuna is also good for your cat but in small portions. Fish is a good source of protein. It's better to choose boneless boiled fish like tuna, salmon, or mackerel because it contains a fatty acid like fish oil, omega-3 that your cat cannot produce. They can eat raw fish but it's always better to cook it. Be careful with canned tuna. They often contain too much salt and it will damage your cat's kidneys in the long run. Cats are meat eaters and in general cooked and deli meats are okay for your cat to eat in small amounts. Make sure not to feed them raw or spoiled meats. Boiled boneless meats can be a tasty and nutritious treat for your cat. You should be aware of any sort of preservatives, flavorings, and other seasonings as they can be detrimental to your feline's health. Chicken, beef, turkey, ham, steak, and liver, hearts, and other meat are preferred. Cats can eat normal bone in meats but it is recommended to go boneless. Any minced meat will be fine. The best is poultry. We recommend cooking plain chicken with its skin removed for its lean protein. Your cat can eat eggs, but be sure to cook them first. Eggs are a good source of protein and B vitamins and can be found in some cat foods. Dairy foods can generally be eaten by cats, but as they age cats may become lactose intolerant. Make sure to give any dairy foods to cats in small amounts. Cheese is a good source of protein for your cats, but since many cats are intolerant to lactose, larger portions can cause some digestive issues. You should try to feed your friend low lactose cheese or cottage cheese before attempting anything richer. It is important to make cheese a special surprise, not an everyday treat. Cats don't really digest dairy very well. The best choices of cheese are cheddar, Swiss or Gouda, as they are rich in calcium and protein. Yogurt is safe for cats to eat. Unlike other dairy products the lactose is broken down making it safer for more cats. Yogurt is full of protein, calcium and probiotics which are good for a cat's health. Make sure to use a plain yogurt with whole milk, without vanilla or sweeteners. Give in small doses to avoid upset stomach. Give your feline friend a real breakfast by serving up some delicious eggs. Hard-boiled and scrambled eggs are excellent for giving your cat a dose of protein. Avoid giving them raw eggs to prevent diseases such as Salmonella or E. coli. Also, be careful not to use any cooking spray or butter during the preparation of eggs. Cats can eat vegetables but only little amounts. Also, it's important to cook them. We recommend avoiding uncooked veggies that your cat could potentially have a hard time to digest. Here are some veggies that are safe for your cat to eat in small doses. Cats can eat cucumbers. They contain lots of vitamins K, C and magnesium. Steamed asparagus is an excellent green food source for your feline friend in small amounts. Spinach is safe for cats as long as they don't have a history of bladder stones. It's full of vitamins and minerals and calcium. Green beans are safe for cats to eat. They can be fresh or frozen. Green beans have protein and iron. Lettuce is okay for cats to eat. It provides fiber and water to keep them hydrated. Cats can eat small pieces of cooked cabbage. It can improve the skin and coat and help with digestion. After baking or boiling, carrots become soft which can be an excellent food source for your cat. Ripe tomatoes are fine for cats to eat. Generally they're safer if they're organic and washed, or cooked. Cats can eat small amounts of cooked cauliflower. It aids digestion and has various antioxidants and vitamins. Peas are a cat-safe veggie that can be found in some cat foods. They contain fiber, vitamins C and A and can be fed raw or frozen. Cats can eat broccoli if they like it. It's packed with fiber and vitamin C. 
fruits should be offered only occasionally because cats are carnivorous animals and their bodies cannot digest large amounts of fruits. Certain fruits are totally fine for cats to eat, but be careful. Remove the seeds as they contain a harmful substance called cyanogenic glycoside. You may find that many cats don't care for fruit as they can't taste the sweetness that we enjoy. Apples are high in fiber and vitamin C. But it is important to take off the skin and the seeds. Seeds are toxic for cats. Cantaloupe have antioxidants and beta-carotene which promotes healthy skin and eye. Remove any seeds before feeding. Blueberries are an excellent source of vitamins A and C. You can also try frozen blueberries as a snack for your cat. It is fine for your cat to ingest small amount of watermelon. Make sure to remove the seeds of watermelon before giving it to your cat. These fruits can help you cat with the digestive issues. Cats can eat strawberries fresh or frozen. Strawberries are full of nutrients and can boost your cat's immune system. Bananas make up for a great human snack for your cat. They are a great source of potassium and soluble fiber. You can serve it fresh or frozen. Avocados are tasty and safe for cats to eat. They are full of vitamins that help with your cat's skin and coat. Don't feed too much though as avocados have a higher fat content. Cats can eat a tiny amount of raspberries. They have some sugars that can be harmful in larger quantities. Many cats like different forms of grains like corn, polenta, cornmeal, brown rice, barley, millet, couscous and wheat berries. Make sure to give them grains that have been cooked to ensure they can fully digest them. Some of these may also need to be mashed first to make them smaller. Bread is okay for cats to snack on and is a good source of protein and fiber. Rice is safe for your cat and is easy digesting. It can be helpful for feeding in combination with meat to a cat with an upset stomach. Make sure the rice is cooked, plain. Oatmeal is fine for cats to eat and can be found in some cat foods. Meat-based baby canned foods can be a helpful way to encourage a cat with a health problem, like chronic kidney disease. Before buying these foods, it is crucial to check the ingredients for garlic powder and onion because both can be extremely harmful to your cats. Feeding baby food to your cat should not become a part of the normal diet. A good rule of thumb is that human food should not make up more than 15% of a cat's diet. Adding human food can make for a nice, occasional treat, but make sure most of your cat's calories are coming from their cat food. 